Welcome, new and old friends. My name is 242, and today, 2 brought me back some stories from a new subreddit, Tales from Retail. So, grab yourself a tea or coffee, sit back, and listen to these four tales. Customer insults me in another language. Didn't realize I understood her. So, I come from a Dutch background. I am nowhere near fluent in the language, but I know enough that I can pick up some words and understand a few sentences. So, about eight years ago, I was helping a customer needing some paint made. As I'm mixing it, her phone rings, and she answers it and begins speaking Dutch. As she was talking, I can pick out that she's telling whoever where they are, then they say something along the lines of, I have one of those dumb young workers mixing it. I say nothing. I decide to wait for the right moment as I mix her paint, and she continues talking. When her paint is done, I hand her the can of paint. She says thank you, and I say in Dutch, you're welcome, goodbye. She froze, her mouth open, and then says, you speak Dutch? I didn't want her to know on how little I actually knew, so I just simply said, Yep. She quickly darted for the cash area. It was very funny and rewarding. Personally, I love these stories because I really hate when people do these things to people. This is very rude in my books. And they definitely got some karma. Don't read the sign. Get splashed. I work at a gas station, and I was cleaning the nozzles for the fountain drinks. It takes about 20 minutes if I'm quick. I put up a sign both in English and Spanish, cleaning, out of service, do not use. With the nozzles not there, when you push the button, all the syrup and carbonated water just flies everywhere. You get splashed, the floor gets splashed, syrup is everywhere everywhere. It's awful to clean if it isn't wiped away right away. Overall, a great time. I call it the Splash Zone. I managed to stop two older regulars who get beverages every day from us like it's second nature. It's very understandable, laugh a little bit to themselves for being on autopilot, thank me, and get ball drinks instead. But While I was cleaning, the sink is running, I'm scrubbing. I don't hear anything until I hear the loud pshh of the fountain drink machine. I look over, and there's a man covered in water and syrup, full on had a Sea World splash on his shirt, the counter, the floor. He proceeds to throw the cup away, take another cup, and try a different drink. Somehow, I managed to shout at him to stop before he gets the second splash. I pointed to the big sign saying the nozzles were being clean. Guy looks at me, scowls, throw the second cup away, and leaves. We're not a busy store, but this repeats four more times before I could finish cleaning all of the nozzles on top of people walking on the syrup-covered ground, tracking around the whole darn store, lo and behold, once the nozzles were back on, now nobody wanted fountain drinks. Sometimes I cry myself to sleep. Four more people? Oh my goodness, OP. I feel so bad for you. I used to have to clean the fountain drinks too. And yeah, when someone hits them, they are not fun to clean up. It gets everywhere. I better not be charged twice. I don't tend to get very many insane customers in my small little town, but when that happens, boy are they noteworthy. So here I am, just minding my business, up at cash, and a lady walks in with her son. They come up to the counter. Karen. We just bought these shoes yesterday, and they're already broken. I check the shoes, 
And they are indeed broken. Me. Okay, I can hold these up here for you if you want to go to the shoe department and grab another pair. Karen. Well, we're going to have to. They proceed to walk away. And after a couple of minutes, I can hear a commotion start in the back. And I notice Karen is giving my coworker in the shoe department a hard time. After a couple more minutes, Karen and her son reappear at my till. Karen, these shoes are the same price, so I'll just show you my receipt. Me, well, I still need to go through the exchange process. Karen, you better not charge me twice. Then Karen's son explains again that I still need to do the exchange and that seems to calm her down for the moment. So, I begin the exchange process and return the shoes. Then, I set them on the counter behind me. Karen. What did you just do? Me. I just returned the first pair of shoes, and now I'm going to purchase the new pair. And if they are the same price, it will zero out. And then, I do exactly that. Me. Well, actually, the price of the new shoes is a penny less, so you'll be getting one penny back. Karen. That's stupid. No one even uses pennies anymore. You better not have charged me twice. You won't be getting any money if you have charged me twice. Me. Well, I still need to put this penny on a card, so if you could just tap your card on the machine. Karen. Where's the machine? Me, it's just behind your purse right there. After she taps her card, I print out the receipts. Because she is doing a return with a credit card, there are two extra receipts that get printed that she needs to sign. One is for our records and the other is for the credit card company. Karen, oh no, I'm not signing two receipts. You better have not charged me twice. Me. I just need you to sign them for our records, and I haven't actually charged you at all. I gave you back one penny. Karen, you better not have charged me twice. Me, I didn't. See, look, I was pointing at the receipt at this point, explaining it out to her. The shoes you returned were $90. There is a little minus there to show that it is a return. And then the new ones were $89.99, so you got one penny back. Karen. Oh, no, 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 no. The shoes I bought were 101. You better not have charged me twice. Me. Yes, the shoes would have come to 101 after taxes, but before taxes, they were $90. Karen. You better not be telling me that they were $90 because I paid 101. Me. They were 101 with tax, 90 before tax. She then starts signing the receipts. Karen. Hmm. I don't like this. No. Something fishy is going on here. You better not be trying to cheat me. Me. Of course not. We never want to cheat any of our customers. Karen. If I find out I've been charged twice, you won't see any money. I'm going to call corporate. You know, I was here before and I bought a pair of winter shoes and then I came in the summer and bought a pair of summer shoes and it turned out they were both summer shoes. So I've been cheated before. You guys need to get your story straight. And with that, she followed her son who had left earlier and walked out of the store. Well, that story gave me a couple flashbacks. I have up with a few customers like this and trying to tell them that no it's a return I'm not charging you look the screen says refund is very annoying they're just funny looking quarters I'm a cashier at a smaller grocery store chain on the East Coast the day that this story occurred was a very busy Friday and three of our front-end managers had just quit. So, we were pretty understaffed. A dirty and tired-looking young woman came through my line with normal groceries. Milk, 
bread, and frozen food. Anna rang up her order. She then proceeded to pull out a plastic bag filled with Canadian quarters to pay with. I obviously questioned her, and she assured me they were just funny-looking quarters. I honestly had no desire to argue with this woman, but I still paid for a last front-end manager that was there at the moment, and she assured me that we could take Canadian quarters as payment. I was shocked and counted them all out, but I was still unsure. I talked to one of the main store managers later about it, who proceeded to talk to the front-end manager about it, who then ended up crying in the bathroom because she was stressed out. The whole day was sort of dramatic. That same front-end manager also dropped a huge glass bottle of beer that got everywhere that day. The smell was horrible. I also got cursed out by a customer when his order rang up wrong and he stormed out of the store instead of letting me fix it. Regardless, I'm glad that young woman got her groceries for basically free though. She honestly looked like she was going through it. I know that Canadian and American quarters do look quite a bit different. The rest of the coinage, not so much. And I know Canadian retailers will take American money without hesitating, while American retailers do not take Canadian money ever that I've seen. So this woman really, really did good. And I really hope that OP is doing better and I really hope this manager is doing better. This seemed like a very bad day. With that, we are at the end of our stories. My Karen voice sounded kind of like a valley girl. Wonder if that means something. Tell me what you think of these stories. And if you like more, Two is always looking around Reddit for different things for me to read. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button and make sure it feels it. If you want to hear more, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn that bell to all notifications. Though, if you like some bonuses, cause we all like a little extra, don't we? Then check out my Patreon. The link is in the box below. I hope you have a good day and come back Sunday, cause 42 is bringing me some chilling tales to help cool you down during this summer. Bye!